Hey there, gamers. Welcome back to our channel, Marvelous Gamers, where we bring you the latest news from the world of gaming. The Resident Evil franchise has released several games over the years ever since its inception in 1996. When people talk about the franchise, they usually talk about the main timeline, but often forget the non-canon games. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video to learn more about the forgotten Resident Evil games. The T-Virus was developed as a biological weapon Proliferating amongst the unsuspecting public, it metamorphosed them into living death zombies. Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles 2007 Released for Wii on November 15, 2007, the game highlights incidents from Resident Evil, Resident Evil Zero, and Resident Evil Nemesis to showcase what led to the downfall of the Umbrella Corporation in three scenarios. The game also includes several sub-stories that were new to the game. The game gives us a different interpretation of many incidents that took place in the previous game and is narrated by Albert Wesker. The game also introduces a new character named Sergei Vladimir, the head of UBCS, who serves as the main villain of the game. The game is divided into four chapters and has a total of 22 levels. The game concludes with the total destruction of Umbrella when their stronghold in Russia held by Sergei is taken down. Playable characters in the game include Ada Wong, Billy Cohen, Carlos Oliveira, Chris Redfield, Hunk, Jill Valentine, Rebecca Chambers, and Wesker. Resident Evil Code Veronica 2000 The game takes place three months after the Raccoon City incident when Claire ends up in an umbrella facility in Paris but gets captured. She is taken to Rockfort Island where she is held captive and tortured upon. However, when the island comes under attack during an air raid, she makes an escape alongside fellow inmate Steve Burnside. But the air raid that presented her with the opportunity to escape also led to the release of the T-Virus and bio-organic weapons on the island. The commander of the island, Alfred Ashford, and his twin sister Alexia take it upon themselves to capture the two escaping inmates and force them to flee towards Antarctica. Steve manages to kill Alfred, while Claire releases a mutated Alexander Ashford. As the two of them escape towards an Australian research base, they encounter tentacles dispatched by Alexia. Meanwhile, Chris, who has been in hiding along with surviving STARS members, learns from Leon about his sister's condition and makes his way towards Rockford without wasting any time. There he encounters Wesker, who he previously thought was dead. It is from Wesker that Chris learns about Claire's current whereabouts. The siblings reunite in Antarctica, only to be separated again while trying to save Steve. Steve, however, gives up his life fighting a tentacle. Both of the siblings escape successfully after Chris takes down Alexia. <laughs> Resident Evil Zero 2002 On July 23, 1998, the Ecliptic Express of the Umbrella Corporation was attacked by a swarm of leeches. A couple of hours later, the Star's Bravo team is sent to look into a series of murders near the Arclay Mountains. However, their helicopter crashes and they get stranded in the forest. It is then that Rebecca Chambers of the Bravo team comes across the immobile train and upon further inspection, she sees that the train's passengers have turned into zombies. Unaware that it results from exposure to the leeches containing the T-Virus, she joins hands with Billy Cohen, a former Marine who had killed 23 people and was being taken to be executed before the vehicle transporting him crashed in the vicinity. They discovered that Umbrella's co-founder, Dr. James Marcus, discovered the progenitor virus in the 1960s and decided to experiment on it as a biological weapon. The T-Virus was created by combining DNA from leeches, which causes rapid mutations in living organisms, transforming them into zombies. While the two explore the facility, Wesker decides to join Umbrella's rival company, but William Birkin stays back and completes his research on the G-Virus. Eventually, the pair come across Marcus, who had been assassinated by Spencer in 1988. Still, when his corpse was discarded, Queen Leech made its way into his body and he was resurrected. And to take revenge, he had orchestrated the T-Virus outbreak on the train and the facility. They both managed to take down Queen Leech and head towards the abandoned mansion nearby. Resident Evil 
Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City 2012. The story of the game focuses on two separate Special Forces teams, the first one being the Delta team working under the Umbrella Secret Service and has been asked to support the Alpha team led by Hunk as they strive to stop Birkin from handing over his T-Virus research to the US military and retrieve the G-Virus. On their way to the lab, they find out that Birkin has hired UBCS mercenaries to work for him while he's busy with the deal. When they make their way to the lab, Birkin injects himself with a virus. The Delta team goes forward to carry out its mission, while Hunt stays back to deal with Birkin. Soon after that, the entire city faces a T-Virus outbreak, and the Delta team is dispatched to remove any incriminating evidence against the Umbrella Corporation. On the other hand, the Spec Ops Command deployed by Echo-6 to find evidence against the Umbrella Corporation, they head towards the Raccoon City Police Department and see Jill Valentine, who is escaping from the Nemesis. Without revealing her source, she suggests investigating City Hall for evidence linking the outbreak to Umbrella. Echo-6 discovers blueprints for an underground lab and fights Nemesis in the sewers while searching for its entrance. Echo-6 discovered the underground lab where they found out that the T-Virus was responsible for the outbreak and that the G-Virus could exacerbate the situation. They were instructed to collect a sample of the G-Virus for further analysis. While exploring the lab, they discovered that Sherry possessed a sample of the G-Virus and that a tyrant was being programmed to pursue her and retrieve it. After a distress call from Leon, Echo-6 rescues Leon, Claire, and Sherry from danger and defeats the Parasite Super Tyrant. They stay behind for one final mission. Resident Evil Deadly Silence 2006 This game is an upgraded version of the original Nintendo DS port created to celebrate the franchise's 10th anniversary. It introduces new features such as knife battle scenes, where the player slashes enemies in the face using the stylus. Additionally, players can shake off enemies by tapping the touchscreen and stabbing zombies. The game has three modes for the players to choose from. The classic mode in the game is similar to the original story mode with a few changes, like a redesigned subscreen and touchscreen controls added to some of the puzzles. On the other hand, Rebirth mode has a higher number of enemies and new puzzles that utilize the hardware's unique features, including the touchscreen and microphone. Additionally, the game has wireless support for four players with two multiplayer modes, cooperative and competitive. In the cooperative mode, players must work together to achieve a common goal, while in the competitive mode, the objective is to destroy the most monsters and get the highest score. Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D 2011 the game combines the Mercenaries minigame from Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5 where players must defeat as many adversaries as possible in a given time. The player's perspective is from behind, moving through 3D environments, and they can aim from a first-person or over-the-shoulder viewpoint while reloading weapons and regaining health. The Nintendo 3DS top screen displays gameplay while the touch screen handles inventory management. Players earn skill points and rankings so they progress and perform well. While they can use to customize their characters' abilities and weapons, additionally, alternative costumes are available for each character like a nurse costume for Rebecca or an American flag-themed costume for Barry. Resident Evil Outbreak 2003 the game Outbreak is set a few days after the T-Virus outbreak in Raccoon City. At the start, the main characters are unaware of the crises until a zombie attacks an employee named Will in Jay's bar. The group then has to escape the bar and navigate through the city to safety. The game ends with the player trying to flee Raccoon City before the G-Virus threat is eradicated by a missile strike from the US government. The player can choose to control one of eight characters and the gameplay takes place across different regions of Raccoon City over several days. This game consists of five scenarios that happen in a non-chronological order. The first scenario, Outbreak, takes place at the start of the outbreak, where the police plan to use explosives to destroy the zombie horde. In below freezing point, players navigate through Umbrella's former underground laboratory, where a virologist, Monica, tries to run off with bioweapons research while dealing with Yoko Suzuki, her former co-worker. The hive involves survivors taking shelter in Raccoon General Hospital, which is under attack from infected leeches. Hellfire, set on the same day as Outbreak, takes players to the Apple Inn Hotel surrounded by fire and liquors. Lastly, the Decisions Decision scenario involves the survivors searching for a cure for the T-Virus. Players must navigate Raccoon City University and make wise decisions to survive puzzling secrets and escape the city before it's destroyed. Resident Evil Gaiden 2001 The game's plot centers around a virus outbreak that happens on the Starlight, a ship. 
An underground group was formed to stop Umbrella, the notorious organization. At first, Leon investigates the ship, but after losing contact, Barry is sent to find him. Along the way, they come across zombies and meet Lucia, a girl who can sense them. Lucia gets kidnapped by a monster, but they're able to rescue her before the ship explodes. To prevent further damage, Leon and Lucia activate the sprinkler system. Barry arranges a trade-off with Umbrella and kidnaps Lucia. Later, Leon discovers a second explosion on the ship caused by a B.O.W. that destroyed the fuel converter. The ship sustains too much damage and they must evacuate. Barry tricks Umbrella into evacuating them by pretending to abduct Lucia. Lucia has a parasite that Umbrella wants because it transforms into a B.O.W. within 10 days. Barry has the doctors remove the parasite but it escapes and turns the crew into zombies. Eventually, the parasite becomes a mature B.O.W. Barry and Lucia return to the ship to rescue Leon but they discover that the B.O.W.s are shapeshifters and one has assumed the form of their partner. They manage to escape and find another Leon in the engine room. The three of them return to the deck where a B.O.W. drags Lucia into the sea. Barry saves her, but another Lucia appears. The real Lucia cuts her hand to prove her identity. The group defeats the B.O.W. and escapes to the submarine. Lucia loses her powers and moves in with Barry's family. It is revealed that Leon was the first B.O.W. The fate of the real Leon is unknown. Resident Evil Dead Aim 2003 the game starts on an Umbrella-owned ship contaminated by the T-Virus stolen from Umbrella's lab in Paris by their former employee, Morpheus D. Duval. He holds the world hostage, demanding $1 billion from the US and China. Bruce McGivern and Fong Ling are sent to take down Umbrella, but their governments oppose working together. Bruce infiltrates the ship and is confronted by Morpheus. Fong Ling's grenade allows Bruce to escape, and he infects himself with a T plus G virus to avoid dying. He encounters the mutated Morpheus and escapes to engineering with Fong Ling. They gain access to the bridge where Bruce kills the infected captain and discovers the ship is headed for an island. Bruce fights Tyrant 091 and escapes as the ship crashes into the cliffs. Bruce searches for Morpheus on an abandoned island with an umbrella facility. He then discovers that the island was a waste disposal for failed BOWs. Fong Ling escapes from a failed experiment called Pluto and joins Bruce. The Chinese agreed to pay Morpheus and arrange for an orbital weapon satellite to kill Fong Ling. Bruce removes the tracking chip from her tattoo, stopping the attack. They head to a storage facility to transport to the underwater biosphere, but Bruce must fight Pluto first. After defeating Pluto, Morpheus appears and sends the elevator crashing. They survive and find Morpheus' bioterrorist organization compromised by the T-Virus. Fong Ling is captured, but Bruce saves her with her help. Morpheus mutates and is destroyed by missiles. Bruce and Fong Ling escape and are picked up by a helicopter. Resident Evil Survivor 2000 The game follows Agent Ark Thompson, who infiltrates an umbrella facility on Sheena Island by impersonating leader Vincent Goldman. After Goldman causes an outbreak, Ark loses his memory and must remember who he is. Along the way, he encounters Lot and Lily Klein and learns of Vincent's horrific experiments on children. Ark gains the trust of his attackers and battles various BOWs, including zombies, Cerberus, Lickers, Hunters, and T-103s on the island. Vincent tries to kill Ark but is killed by the experimental Tyrant Hypnos T-Type. After killing the creature, Ark reunites the boy and his sister and they escape the island via helipad. Ark battles the Hypnos T-Type Tyrant which transforms three times. After defeating it, the group escapes in a helicopter the creature tries to bring them down but is killed by missiles fired by Ark. The game ends with a helicopter flying away. Marvel's Verdict For fans of the Resident Evil franchise who have only played the games from the main timeline, these games are a must-try. Some of them are a little different from the usual Resident Evil games but are entertaining nonetheless. If you've played the games mentioned, please let us know about your experience in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and share this video. And for more exciting videos, please subscribe to our channel.